What is up, guys? And welcome to F1 2021. We're here. Big thanks to EA and Codemasters for the early access. We are going to do Breaking Point in today's video. So make sure you're subscribed to see the rest of this journey. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get into it now. We're taking on the role of rookie Aiden Jackson through his journey through F2 to get to Formula 1. We're going to encounter Devin Butler. This is the first time we've ever seen a story-driven career mode. And I can't wait to get started. So without further ado, let's do this. So we've got three levels of difficulty. Normal for assist runners. Challenging uh, for experienced people who want fewer assists. And then hard. We're going to go down the hard option because... I'd get slated in the comments otherwise. Okay, so we move to the next screen and we're asked to select a team. Uh, I'm guessing this is when we get to Formula One. So we've got the choice of five teams. Alpha Tauri, Aston Martin. Uh, bearing in mind, you're kind of racing for two different teams there. As it says on the left, um, you'll begin as BWT Racing Point and then become Aston Martin. We've got Alfa Romeo, Haas, and we also have Williams racing now given that my career mode is going to be a my team journey and we're probably going to be the slowest car i want to shy away from williams and haas so we're going to sign as aston martin and get the experience of driving for two teams technically so prologue with the 2019 formula 2 championship coming down to the final race of the season young british driver aiden jackson is looking to etch his name into the history books Let's go. An incredible race. Look at it. Every driver is being so aggressive. Check it out. They'll all be feeling the pressure right now. None more so than young Aiden Jackson from Carlin. That's right. Rumors from the paddock talk about a possible future for Jackson in Formula 1. And with only a few laps to go, this is still anyone's race. The atmosphere here is electric, and we couldn't have asked for a better finish to the F2 season here in Abu Dhabi. I think we're going. I think we're ready to get into this. I haven't done any practice on this game. This is my first uh, laps, my first okay, meters. Aiden, you're doing great. Keep focused. You know what to do. Here we go. Rusted straight into our F2 career. The final race of the season. Oh my goodness. And I need to learn how to drive. So the objective is to finish first and win the F2 championship. We've got to gain three positions. We've got Nicholas Latifi, our <laughs> Marduk Motorsport teammate and rival from last game. Up there in the ranks doing pretty well. So here we go, guys. The series is going to be live commentated. I had no choice of the difficulty level. I had no choice of the uh, race length. It's all stock standard. So let's hope that we've got the pace to uh, get up there and win this race. I'm not sure what we need in terms of a championship objective. Finish first. Okay, yeah, I need to finish. I need to win to win the, the title. Ragunathan, get out of the way, mate. <laughs> Thanks for that. Oh. I had no choice of uh, corner cutting settings either. So probably it's on regular. So ah, we could get away with some big boy corner cutting as we get up the inside of Sete Camera into the hotel section. Aiden Jackson is now in P... No, P3. He's on the podium. And he's absolutely loving life. Where is, uh... Devin Butler in all this? Well, okay. Devin Butler's not in F2. Maybe because of, uh... the 2019 game where Devin Butler already appeared. He's already in F1 in this world. Who knows? Casper Ackerman ain't anywhere to be seen either. 
Oh, we've got a little look up the inside. Latifi blocks it off. The AI are not strong here at this part of the circuit. On the power nice and early. Oh, baby. They got the inside. But the penultimate corner. Oh, my goodness. The curves. The curves are a lot different on F1 2021. You could ride that on previous games all day long. Nice Good job. But not on this game. But here we go. Last lap of the Grand Prix. Last lap of the championship. It's time to make ourselves a champion. Whoa. Absolutely no acceleration off the corner from Giotto there. And we're going to get him down into the triple chicane. He's going to go defensive. So we're going to go right around the long way. That is the lead of the F2 race here in Abu Dhabi. All we're going to do now is hang on. Great pass. Thank you, Jeff. I don't know what you saw in the edit, but this is definitely my first attempt. Anyway, rounding the last corner. Second time's the charm. Aiden Jackson wins the F2 championship. Fantastic work, Aiden. Great drive, mate. Congratulations. Yes! Come on! That was all me. And he's done it. Jackson's done it. Aiden Jackson wins the F2 championship. What a win for Jackson. What a win. And he couldn't have gone to a better driver. A magnificent result. He's already been vocal about his dreams of one day driving for Mercedes in Formula One. Let's just hope the right people are watching today. <laughs> and here he is, the man of the moment, Aiden Jackson. An amazing race and a fantastic win for this Where's incredible Devin? driver. Where is he? Indeed. After this, I guarantee that Jackson will be the hot topic in more than a few upcoming F1 team meetings. The future's definitely bright for this young driver. Yeah, interesting that there's no Devin Butler or Kasper Ackerman in, uh, in F2. We are yet to meet them. Several months later, having won the F2 championship, um, Aiden Jackson has now secured a seat in Formula 1 and is preparing to take his first steps into the world's most prestigious motorsport series. The Australian Grand Prix. I'll let you have it, Aiden. It, it can be your home away from home. Aiden, now you've made the leap to Formula One, no surprise to anyone who's been watching your career. How does it feel to be on the verge of getting behind the wheel for your first race? To be honest with you, Will, it hasn't really quite sunk in yet. The team has given me a fantastic opportunity. It's a once in a lifetime, a dream come true. So to answer your question, Lando's trying not to I laugh. feel like a little kid. I look around and I'm surrounded by my heroes, you know? I've even had to pinch myself a couple of times. So, yeah, it can be a bit overwhelming. But out on the track, the speed, the noise, even the smell, it's all the same. I just hope my driving is too. And what about Kasper Ackerman? Are you intimidated at all having such a seasoned and experienced driver as your first teammate in Formula One? How's that relationship coming along? I've always looked up to Casper as someone to aspire to. Growing up as a kid, his pictures all over my bedroom walls, you know? <laughs> the dream was always to Lando's be Casper. <laughs> but, as it turns out, I'll be racing alongside Casper. Which is good enough for me. I get to learn from the best. Besides, every legend has to start somewhere, right? Aiden, just wondering if we can get your reaction to the obvious comparisons that are being made between you and another F1 driver. Much like you, he made the transition from F2 to F1 last season. What do you say to the press here and to your fans who are calling you the new Devon Butler? <laughs> <laughs> the new Devon Butler. I'm all right with that. Does that mean we could lose the old one? <laughs> <laughs> you come over well. They like you. I don't know what you were worried about. Thanks. 
you know, everything's going to be fine out there today. I just know it. Just do what you did in F2. Easy. F1 ain't easy, Chief. Thanks, Brian. I won't let you down. Come on, Aiden. You've got this. So then, that was our first press conference. Uh, hello, Brian. Hello. Aiden, are you in your room? Oh, hey, Brian. Yeah, I'm in my room. Good. Well, have a look around. I hope you like it. Should be everything you need in there. News feeds, social media. It's hooked up to the lot. Just do me a favour, eh? Go on. Make sure you check your emails. I think there's a message in there for you. Oh, right. Thanks, Brian. Take a breather, do what you need to do, and I'll see you before the race. Nice one. Cheers, mate. Uh, just like in real life, I think in the game I'm going to be bad at replying to my emails. So, here we go. We're looking straight at us. Oh my god, can I play the game? Hey, mum. No, I'll talk to you later. Go. <laughs> it's mummy. We've got a, we've got our answer, don't we? Oh, never mind. Mum gave up. So is mum. Uh, social. We got some new posts. What do we say? Oh, Matt! WTF1! <laughs> it's here. A new F1 season. I feel like we've been waiting all year for this. Um, Devin Butler. I'm sure he'll be great. It's always good to have another Brit in the mix. Although he is racing with the big boys now. Um, Natalie Pinkham. I bet Jackson is feeling the nerves today. Good luck out there. Streamer tips. Jimmy Broadbent. <laughs> Who have they got in this game? My alarm didn't go off. Would not have been a happy boy if I missed the start. Mental. A long bottom. The real DC. <laughs> Arab! Arab's in the game! <laughs> Is it too early to call it for Mercedes? Oh, that might bite you in the butt, Arab. You have not done the wizardry there. Anyone else? Oh, that's it. Oh. Everyone else is in the game but me. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Um, yeah, that's a thing. Anyway, email time. Uh, Otmar Saf. Uh, hey, Aiden. The title says it all. Really pleased to have you join us. But then you know that already. Anything you need, just ask Brian. He's your liaison. And anything uh, he tells you to do, just treat it like it comes from me. And looking forward to the season. I'll see you in the briefing. Cool. Um... So Brian isn't isn't like my personal assistant. He's like the middleman between me and the team. Um, I'm trying I'm trying to think of like who actually has if there's any famous liaisons in the in the paddock. Is it is it the personal assistant? It might be. I'm not sure. Anyway, Jeff Nelson. Um, there are a few tricky spots on the circuit here in particular. Be careful at turns five and nine. The curbs are high, and if you take too much, you'll spin off the track. Also, keep in mind there's a low speed limit in the pit lane. Okay, cool. It says there's an attachment. Ah, you have to scroll across. Uh, nah, we don't need to know that. And we got a good luck message from Casper, our teammate. I noticed that you left your paperwork over in the garage, so I handed it to your PA. You can thank me later. And hey, good luck out there today. It's your first race, but let's see what we can do together. That's nice. So, Aiden idolizes this guy not sure why because I've never heard of him <laughs> can't be that good anyway um, still waiting for that call from mum if, if if anything happens I'll let you know but um, that's just uh, the old oh we can scroll down Hamilton set for a potential title tie uh, Formula 2 champion moves up in the world thank you very much Preparing for the Australian Grand Prix and trackside. Okay. This is cool. I, I like the new additions. I haven't touched my team yet, so I don't know if this is going to be 
over in that game mode. But regardless, I like this. Oh. This is our, um, our room. We can have a little look around. I love how the helmet's just sitting there, uh, on the desk with a couple of stress balls. Or juggling balls, because I'm going to be a clown this season. Uh, a Bluetooth speaker on the, on the left. Lovely stuff. Uh, call history. Mummy's not there. She wasn't there to take me to the fair or change my underwear. I think it isn't fair. Let's go to the race. Nine lap. Oh, this is going to be a big boy race. Solid start, Aiden. Let's try and push it further. Copy that. Uh, where's Casper? He's up ahead. Let's try and bring you two closer together. Gap to car in front is 1.6 seconds. Okay. Here we go. Thrusted into the Australian Grand Prix. In the racing point, we're in P14. And we need to catch up to Ackerman before lap 11. That's very specific. This feels a lot nicer than the F2 car. I will say that much. we got Danny Ricciardo up ahead in the Renault. Where's Devin Butler? Whoa! Massive moment. Casper's in P10 at the moment. 26-8. Nice corner. Oh, massive moment. It's, uh, it's a learning experience getting used to F1 2021 again. These cars really are lively. Oh, nice exit. George Russell is ahead of a Renault in 2020. What's going on? Whoa, up the inside of Ricardo. Don't mind if I do. This car is so twitchy. It's insane. Round the outside of Russell. Thank you very much. Casper's in P10 at the moment. Oh no. Oh no. Look who's ahead of us, guys. <laughs> RIP to us in this race. Devin Butler didn't exactly get himself a good ride, did he? I was expecting him to be in like a, a couple of places up on you. in a Red Bull or something, something ridiculous. But here he is. He's about to get mugged. Up into overtake. Oh, I'm gonna back out of it actually. Bite our time for now. We got to give this guy a bit of space. You never know what he's like. And we're gonna go to the outside. Rich, no rich. Overtake and DRS. See you later, Devin Butler. Get mugged. You're closing in on Casper now, Aiden. Good job. Cheers, mate. I wonder why they call him Casper. Does he spin off a lot at turn one and ghost? Who knows? I wonder what happens. Do I have to... Oh. What a brilliant Australian Grand Prix this has been. But there's still plenty of time for more drama. There certainly is, Crofty, and these two have been fighting each other incredibly hard so far. Careful, they don't boys. They're tripping over each other, though, because Devin Butler is coming up from behind. He's on the attack, too. Oh! I'm not getting lost. Hey, Casper's not your priority. We need you to defend. It's okay. I've got this. Here comes Butler. Uh -oh. oh, look. <laughs> nice overtake. <laughs> Okay. He'll be fine. He's heading for the pits now. You just concentrate on the race. And there we have it. So I'm sure there's going to be fireworks in the Racing Point Garage this evening. There will be, Crofty, for sure. Look, it was a late move from Devon Butler, but you never want to see two teammates make contact. And Ackerman will surely be seething at that one. Absolutely. And I'll tell you who else isn't going to be happy too. Aidan Jackson. Not how his F1 race debut should have gone. That wasn't me. What now? Revenge? The damage appears to be minor. How's it feeling, Aiden? Yeah. Car's okay. Understood. See how well you can do out there. Copy. Devin Butler, you sneaky devil. He used some kind of super ERS there. I reckon he hacked the game and he put it up in Rich. 
<laughs> that threat, that overspeed was insane. Aiden Jackson, you need a lesson in ERS management. Because that was just poor. You've got to deplete a bit more of your battery if you want to get the move done solidly. That was disgusting. But now, we've got to undo the damage. Literally. How much We have no damage. We're fine. Um, so, you know, Aiden Jackson running on reduced damage. Casper Ackerman running on simulation. Unlucky. But now we catch up to this guy. Just like we did before. Maybe he's going to step it up a notch now that he's in the points. And he's probably going to get his elbows out. But I like that. That was really cool. An interactive cutscene mid-race. Something we've never seen before. Carl's good at high speed. I think we got a bit more downforce than the Alfa Romeo. We're making light work of Devin Butler and that gap. Let's get nice and close again. Will it let me overtake? That is the question. Great rotation at mid speed. I felt absolutely phenomenal there. Is he going to defend? Is he going to defend? No, he's not. That's a dive bomb. And there we go. We're through in the points. Whoa! Nice sorry, move. mate. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm not sorry, really. <laughs> that was unscripted. Devin's not going to be happy. Oh, that one's for Casper. All right, job done. Let's see if we can get Norris for some bonus points. This is the 2020 Australian Grand Prix. The Grand Prix that never happened. This is not realistic. This is like, what if... COVID never happened. Or is it? Who knows? Everybody should have been turned away at the gates on Friday night. Friday night? Friday morning. Oh. Nice run out of there. Can we do another dive bomb? Oh, Lando! A bit tentative. He left the space. And we're through. Thank you very much, Lando. Good. But you know what? In the virtual GP, not the Australian Grand Prix, it was me and Lando battling on this very racetrack when the real life Australian Grand Prix should have been on. So at least uh, Codemasters got that detail right. Here we go, guys. Last two corners. We're going to get points on our F1 debut. Whoa! <laughs> Tires are going off at this point. Up to the line. It is points. For Aiden Jackson in the racing point. That's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Fermi. So, another fantastic victory for the Silver Arrows. Enjoy it while it lasts. What a start to the season this has been. A fascinating race here in Australia, Ant. The top teams as ever continue to push the boundaries of the sport, and it'll be interesting to see how the new racing point driver, Aidan Jackson, settles in, especially after that early incident involving his teammate. Well, we've certainly seen rivalries born from less. Suffice to say, if you came into the 2020 season hoping for a bit of drama, it looks like you won't be disappointed. Uh-oh. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team, and they certainly deserve it. So there we go, Lewis Hamilton on the podium. <laughs> Hamilton bought the once again. How long until we can get our butts up there? Okay, chapter one, an awkward incident involving Devin Butler and his own teammate, Casper Rackerman, Marla Jackson's maiden outing in F1. Spicy. Casper, listen, I don't know what happened out there. It wasn't my fault. Well, whose fault was it then? Who was the idiot behind the wheel of your car, hmm? You're pathetic. Won't even admit when you made a mistake. I'm. How did they ever sign you? Uh oh. Oh. 
Butler. Um, Devon, I didn't see you there. I what, like, out on the track today? <laughs> you nearly took me out, mate. Look, I don't know what happened. You cut in, I swerved. Next thing I knew, Casper was out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mate, I was nothing to do with it. Whatever that was, that was all on you. Don't be trying to pass the blame, because you haven't sailed in yet. I actually think Devin's right for a change. Sorry, Aiden. Just bear with us one sec. No problem. I think that's really just the case of the driver, Rocky mistakes. <laughs> These cars are a bit different to what Aiden's used to in F2. You seem to find your feet quite quickly after you graduated from Formula 2. What advice would you give to Jackson in his first season? Well, stay out of my way mostly. <laughs> and uh, taking out your own teammate isn't something I would make a habit of. Almost ready, Aiden. We're just checking audio levels. Uh, sure. Seriously, Casper must be wondering what on earth Racing Point were thinking. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Thanks, Devin. Yeah. Oh, she laughs. She agrees. <laughs> okay, Aiden. Let's talk about that incident with your teammate. Right. We're going to get spammed with calls now. Is that what this is? You know what? I, I kind of... Yeah. Devin was actually funny there. Brian. Why can't you just walk into my office, eh? Is it that hard? Brian. Talk to me. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Listen, what happened out there today? I had it all under control and then... Look, let's not go through all that now. We'll talk about it at the debrief. Right. Yeah. I was actually talking about your little running with Casper and Butler over in the paddock. Oh, wow. News travels fast. The paddock talks, Aiden. Besides, I've got ears like a hawk. Listen, Butler's a clown. The man's ego is bigger than a... No, I've got nothing. Don't give it a second thought. Thanks, Brian. But Casper? <laughs> yes, yeah, so he can get a little hot-headed, especially after a race. But you have got to work with him. That manoeuvre today... Wasn't my fault, Brian. It probably cost us points. I'll level with you. A lot of people on the team are disappointed, Aiden. And I'll be saying as much to Casper. Now, learn from it and move on. But you can't let it happen again. I'll see you at the debrief. I hope we're getting an actual debrief. I'm actually really excited to see that scene, if it's a thing. Please. Um, can we look at this now? No, we can't. Uh, social. We got some new posts rolling in. Uh, Noble F1. No, that's not Harry Jacks. <laughs> no denying a good result for Jackson. Probably would have been better if he'd avoided his teammate, though. Ackerman must be furious. Rosanna Tennant. A great race. Well done all for a respectable result. A new driver like Aiden Jackson. Um, we all like a little drama. Technical Terry almost missed the end of the race as I couldn't take my eyes off the checkered flag. I knew they'd bring it back. Into the Barrier is in this game. He hasn't uploaded a video in five years. And I'm not in the game. <laughs> um, Jackson, I said I've got this. Cue the swerve. Hashtag Australian Grand Prix. I'm I'm disappointed in Codemasters for not saying Oh no on that one. F1 big fan. Um into the barrier yeah, it wasn't his fault though, was it? Uh Cliff Mitch. Does that mean off the Cliff Mitch? Oh come on. Everyone praising Jackson, he should be penalized like that. Uh rookie mistake. Karun Chandok. Well there you have it. With the first race of the 2020 Formula One season in the books. What did you all think? I think it was a great drive from Aiden, to be honest. Um, more please. Streamer tips. When live streaming, try to keep a consistent schedule. Your audience will be much more likely to return if you do. Thank you, streamer tips. Um, West, cracking start to the season. Dave Gaming. I would love to be in the Racing Point debrief after that incident with Jackson and Ackerman. So awkward. Um, Akka, my man, my emotions watching the racing incident. Um, 
three into one. Ah, oh, damn it, Marduk! What have I got to say? I'm in the game, lads! I'm in the game! I'm in the game! <laughs> it's fine, I already knew this, but still. It's cool to see it. Jackson, this is fine. Ing. Jackson, this is finding his way into a butler slash Ackerman sandwich. But it's Ackerman who takes the fall. Yeah, I'd be a bit put out if I were Casper. Yeah, I tweeted that. Um, yes, I tweeted that. I would always tweet that. Cool. Uh, at Tim at Marduk, at Longbottom. Don't know what it says about Jackson's situational awareness, but I can't see how you can put that on anyone other than Butler, to be honest. <laughs> I love the social media system. That's such a good introduction, Codemasters. But yeah. I <laughs> Mate, I I'm just excited to see who else they've got in the game. That's so cool. It's my profile picture and everything from Twitter. By the way, follow me on Twitter. Cheeky plug. This is a great time as well to say that I'm actually doing a giveaway of F1 2021 on my Twitter. Uh, I'm announcing on the 16th of July, three winners um, who are going to be chosen at random. Link in the description. I'm also doing a giveaway on Instagram as well and my Clips channel too. All linked down there. Go check out social media and you guys will hopefully win. Good luck. Anyway, <laughs> emails. I'm really excited to get to this debrief. We'll get there in just a second, hopefully. Aiden, great to see you bringing in some points in your maiden F1 race. That was quite the achievement. Congratulations. I'll be going through at the end of the briefing, uh, but we obviously need to talk about the incident with Casper at turn 11. I understand it's your face ra first race, and nerves can get the best of anyone, but let's not forget that we're a team. Everyone's been a bit harsh. Three wide. Three wide at turn 11 just never happens. It's kind of like that rule in IndyCar. You shouldn't go three wide into a corner. But anyway, um, this is... Who are you? Saskia Mills. We've got hair and makeup arriving at your hotel room, 9 a.m. sharp. I know you said you didn't need it, the client, but the client insists. Then a car will be there at 10 and take you to the location. Wardrobe will meet you on site. I've seen some of the looks they want. Be open-minded. Um, I know I'm going on, but that's what's good. That's what a PA is for. I'll call you in the morning. Yeah, okay. So they, they're really giving you the whole like lifestyle of being an F1 driver. You've got the uh, race weekend commitments. Then you've got like the sponsors stuff to take care of in the background when you're not at the racetrack. Um, these guys really are super busy and hopefully this will provide an insight as to what it's like for some of them. Even the rookies who don't even have that massive presence yet. Anyway, um, is that's everything? Um, yeah. Let's go to the next chapter. Ah. Uh... No, no. I really wanted to see a podium scene. I really wanted to see the debrief. I thought like the whole episode was going to climax on the on the debrief, but there there's not one. We're going to fast forward to a month later. But that's what we're going to cover in the next episode. So stay tuned guys. I'll probably upload the second chapter tomorrow. So make sure you subscribe to the channel to see the next installment of breaking point. I'm really, really enjoying it so far. Who knows what we've got in store in the next episode. The Chinese Grand Prix, maybe we'll get that belated cooldown debrief. Fingers crossed. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like and subscribe and uh, check out my other F1 2021 videos if you haven't already. And until the next one, I'll see you next time.